Room 26, Angelo Morbelli, Winter in the Pio, Albergo Tribulsion, 1911. Milan of the late 19th century is a city under industrialization. This is a city that always grows in citizens' number, and people do not always live in good conditions, especially if they are elderly and poor, with families maybe far away. Most probably, they end their years at the Pio Albergo Tribuzio, a well-known Milanese whose fish is still active. The hotel was built in 1771, wanted by the Prince Tolomeo Tribuzio, who allocated all his possessions to it. Morbello created a series of six paintings, a poem about old age, where he shows a severe, sad, dark, silently, and desolate place. Imagine that to paint these works, he set up a small studio right inside the space. In this case, the photography cut eliminates most of the light source. There's a window that barely illuminates elderly people designed in steel, trying to shelter from the cold of these hog rooms wrapping them themselves in blankets. The contours are blurred, the colors not existent. Everything seems to allude to the life of these seniors, a life that fades out and slowly disappears. Angelo Morbelli, Last Days, 1882. This is probably the first work by Morbelli, set in the Pio Albergo Tivulcio. The place is sadly known to the Milanese, as it is the elderly people's shelter wanted by Prince Antonio Tolomeo Tivulcio, who will leave behind his belongings just to help the elderly people of the new social class that was forming. Workers too busy or not rich enough to take care of them. The serious uh, works by Morbelli set in this place will become increasingly sad and gloomy. Here, however, the environment uh, is still bright. Uh, an immense hall uh, with high ceilings uh, is certainly a little better, but still well uh, hidden by the stove on black wall. Uh, the people are very similar to each other, same clothing, same black hats and position, uh, sitting on stiff uh, wooden benches made more comfortable by a long pillow. At the same time, people are all different for physical and psychological characterizations. Some are readings, others have eyes lost in air, perhaps outside of a window that is not included in the painting. Who have yielded to sleep and tiredness lays his head on the table, felt asleep, waiting for the end, spending the last days at the recovery revolution. Room 26 a TV posterla at the Economic Camp in 1887. At the end of 19th century, Milan began to be the immense and crowded city well known. Workers of all kinds arrived looking for luck, but it now comes for everyone. So in 1883, the Economic Cantons of the Opera Pia were inaugurated, a place where poor families could give decently at the justice prices. The outer rehearsal shows as very little of the refectory. The structure still exists in Montegrappe Avenue and is currently a multifunctional center. The salon is packed with people, men and women, who actually ate in separate spaces. Evidently, Posterla preferred to show us a single image to better immerse us in this shine where, where few people seem to communicate, as they are too busy in eating. People will define in the foreground, almost become color spots in the farthest area. Few colors, white, blue, brown, and the red of the child's t-shirt, asleep in his mother's arms, as sad as he is, stands up and is taken from the headgear of another figure whose face is not visible. Angelo Morbelli, Milan Central Station, 1889. This painting is a replica of a larger prototype, already exhibited two years before at Brega and at the Universal Exposition in London. The Milan Central Station we see here the fact that no longer exists and no day is replaced by the much more impressive version we all know. This image maybe refers to Monet painting, dedicated to the station of St. Lazar. The image has a respective cut accentuated, accentuated by the tracks that go outside, which can be green, even if all the space is dedicated to a gloomy clothes space illuminated by a white light, with, which crosses the passage of the locomotive. Modern streaming and overcrowded cars made in rare dates manner with a typical black color and bright red details, typical of the 19th century models. 
We know that this painting has, was not done in plain air, as Monet did the what with his station, by using a photographic cyanotype that still exists today.